It hit its central goal the moment it was sworn in. And now it's also survived a full year, with Monday the first birthday for Israel's coalition government, dethroning Benjamin Netanyahu on June 13th, 2021. And on June 13th, 2022, coalition leaders saying they've achieved much more. We lit the light for the people of Israel, how a good government, how a government that works together, how a government of we and not I can bring huge achievements to the entire Israeli public. Of course, on this birthday, the coalition is falling apart, crippled by its lack of ideological cohesion, without a majority in parliament, and with legislators from the coalition's right and left flanks in revolt. Talk is of elections. Opponents of the coalition see the disorder as proof of failure, opting for the anti-Zionists of the Ram party over partners on the right, with Prime Minister Naftali Bennett, they say, breaking campaign promises and building a coalition that distorts the right-wing politics of most Israeli voters. <laughs> Naftali Bennett's fraudulent and deceitful government is on the path to being destroyed. It's on a respirator and everyone sees it has no life expectancy and no purpose. I have to tell you, this is one of the longest funerals in history. <laughs> The coalition's backers make two points. First, the government and the coalition have important achievements. Replacing Benjamin Netanyahu, done on day one. Passing a budget. Keeping an even keel on national security. Second, the coalition's mission transcends politics. Bringing together right-wing and left-wing, Jews and Arabs. Sending a message of unity and coexistence. Meant to resonate on the street and not just in the parliament sharpening the question of what a government should be. A cohesive team with a clear political plan or a motley crew with less direction and a message of togetherness.